Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Power Gunner, and this is my breakdown of the second infamous first light trailer, which was shown at Gamescom. First off, there is a link in the description if you want to see this full trailer just normally. Alright, now on to my breakdown. Now, this first thing that I want to talk about that just kind of annoys me is that apparently there is some new rule or like law in the infamous universe that if you cover up a conduit's hands basically or like lock them up then they can't use their powers which doesn't make sense to me because when Delson does a smoke dash his hands don't turn into smoke first his whole body turns into smoke at the same time also in the infamous games with Cole Cole can do the thing where he skates on the electrical wires with his feet and he's not making lightning even come out of his hands with that so that does not make sense to me at all so that's just one more thing they're doing to ruin Infamous for me, but it's not too major. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, rant about that a little bit. So Augustine talks to Fetch here some. So this is the Curtin K training room sort of thing where Augustine is training Fetch. And here we actually find out how Augustine was using Eugene. Eugene must be hooked up to a machine, like he said in Second Son when it did the flashback when Delson gets his power. So Augustine makes him make these like fake DUP enemies made out of video for Fetch to fight. So that's kind of cool to find out what Eugene was doing. And we see Fetch's neon and how her use of neon is slightly different from Delson's. It's not way different. Like, it's still really the same power, and it's going to feel mostly the same, but it seems to me like almost every single sort of power that Fetch uses is varied from how Delson uses it, so that's cool. So this seems to be Fetch's, like, basic neon beam here, which it looks like it's full auto. It shoots really fast, and I would assume that it's full auto and not just someone who has, like, a really fast trigger finger here, but I'm also guessing that It'll be full auto in the sense that video and concrete were to where it's like in full auto bursts and you can't just hold down the trigger and go full auto until your power meter runs out. So here's Fetch's Comet Drop like we saw in the first trailer, which her Comet Drop pretty much is nothing different than Delson's, which is fine with me because the Comet Drop is just a very simple thing that's been in every Infamous game and it's pretty much been the same in every one except for it's been like called different things because it used to be called the thunder drop for Cole. But yeah, I like her animation, how she charges it up with her hands and then she like sort of kicks the ground-ish when she lands on it, which just because she's charging it up with her hands here, that is not proof that locking up your hands disables your powers. Just saying. So when I first saw this, I thought that this was her rocket ability that she shoots because it looks like a bunch of rockets hitting this guy, but it looks like they stun him. So I'm actually guessing that this is going to be the L1 power because the L1 powers tend to be the ones that you use to stun enemies. Then she does a light speed dash melee on this video DUP soldier dude, which seems way more powerful than Delson's and that looks really fun to do. She just like punts him and it's pretty awesome. And here Fetch does a photon jump, which is just kind of confirmation that that's there. There's also an orange neon light there, which I guess you can drain from, which is pretty much expected that she needs some source of neon while she's fighting these guys. So yeah, the photon jump just looks like the same as it did with Delson, which isn't much of a surprise. That isn't something that they really need to change a lot. Also, her light speed dash does look more like a sort of cloud and with uh, sort of stripes or like streaks running through it. And it doesn't really look like she's running through it like it did with Delson. And I'm guessing maybe that's because she's had more time to master the power. And it's not just running for her, it's like flowing through the environment. Also here, when she does the photon jump, it looks as though this vent thing that she jumps over is shooting her up into the air more. Kind of like with the Eugene boss fight in the main game when Delson like gets shot at by the little video whatever jumpy things. So it looks kind of like that thing. And here Fetch is right in front of Augustine and she does what's like a light speed melee but it also shoots and it's really powerful because it knocks out this concrete wall here. And it looks like some of Fetch's neon attacks are more powerful than Delson's 
So that might be really interesting, having more powerful attacks in this game. So maybe there's going to be some sort of like harder enemies because you have these more powerful attacks. And right by that wall, there is a DUP officer and a conduit prisoner who might be Hank. It looks like Hank just because he wears that orange prison uniform. And I'm not quite sure if it's Hank. I can't tell. I would say maybe yes it is just because he seems like a character that they would bring back for this DLC. But if you look closely, it looks like he has more hair than Hank, but that might just be some sort of a shadow, but that might be Hank. It's like a 50-50 chance, I don't know. So Fetch like breaks out of Kurt and Kay here, and just the fact that it didn't seem like Augustine was trying to stop her, and that as we'll see later, she like sends a few video DUP things to attack her. It seems like maybe Augustine wanted her to break out and that's part of her training course for fetch. So this seems really weird to me. There is one of the DUP ACPs and it looks like it's trying to ram into this other one and maybe even kill this other DUP soldier that's right here. And once the ACP hits the other one, then we see some blue video stuff. So we know that at least one of those ACPs was just a video one, and it wasn't real. Maybe both of them were, but maybe the real one was trying to ram into the video one to make it go away and turn into video particles or something, and maybe that DUP soldier was also a fake video one. Now, this ACP that hits the other one has something instead of a normal turret on it, where the turret usually is. I'm not sure if this is a weapon. I would assume that it is, just because that's where turrets usually are, so this is probably some sort of weapon, but it looks kind of cool. It's like orange and glowing, so I don't really know what exactly it is, but it looks kind of sweet. So this is probably a new kind of ACP that we can fight as Fetch. Then there's this helicopter that shoots rockets, and I would assume that it's shooting rockets at Fetch. And I don't know if this helicopter is made of video, but it very well might be. Fetch light speed kicks another DUP guy and it looks really powerful again he just goes flying and she melees another guy and he goes flying too so she apparently likes punching and kicking guys and making them go flying which is pretty awesome. So I think this is the same helicopter that they showed earlier I would assume that it is and it is shooting missiles at Fetch and Fetch jumps and shoots at the helicopter and we do see the blue video stuff so this helicopter here is a fake video helicopter. And then Fetch starts to do her Karma Streak ability here, but we don't get to see all of it yet because it cuts to the title screen. But also, I don't know if there's even Karma in this DLC. There wasn't Karma in Infamous 2's Festival of Blood DLC, so I don't really know what they're going to do with this, if they really want to make it that big or not to add karma. And also, in Second Son, Fetch has already been established as a character, so I don't know if they go back and let you make choices as her. But either way, this thing is like a karma streak-ish thing, even if it's not going to be called that. And then it shows more of this karma streak in the Seattle part of the game. And it's like a black hole, and it looks pretty sweet, but if you think about it, it'll probably just be another animation that you'll have to sit through over and over just to wait to play the game for a few seconds, which is something that I didn't like in Second Son. But maybe you can kind of control this one more so it's not just watching the screen while it does it for you. So hopefully this one is more interactive like the lightning storm was in Infamous 1, or there's not that much time to where you aren't in control of the game, like the Ionic Vortex in Infamous 2, which you kind of pressed a button, and then it was just a few seconds of seeing Cole launch the big tornado, and then you could just watch it while you keep on playing. Or maybe it'll even be like the orbital drop where you actually can control some of it, but there's still a bit of looking at an animation over and over. And guess what this shows here? You can destroy cars with this thing, which even if there's not karma, this is probably still not considered a bad thing or an evil thing to do, and that is one of my biggest pet peeves with the entire Infamous series, is that destroying people's cars is not evil or bad at all, which doesn't make any sense. You are destroying someone's personal property, and sometimes there's even someone in that car, and it's still not bad to, like, kill them when they're in it. So, yeah, I just hate that they do that with all of the Infamous games. 
Hopefully they change it for the next one, but they probably won't. And then the black hole explodes at the end, just to have more explosions. Now, I've heard that this move is called the Singularity Bomb, which would make sense because it's like a black hole. But I'm not sure if that's totally right, but it probably is. And then it says the release date, which is August 26th. Just to let you guys know, you can preload this DLC if you pre-order it. And you can start preloading it on August 24th, which is two days before it comes out. And if you don't know what preloading is, it's where you can download the whole game before it comes out, but then it just doesn't let you play the game until it's out. Which is cool because you don't have to wait for the game to download once it's out. Now, there's a few other pieces of news that have come from Gamescom about Infamous First Light that aren't in this trailer, so I'm just going to briefly mention those. One is that you can light speed dash through, like, clouds of neon gas that I think you can only see while you are light speed dashing, and when you dash through them, then you can go faster, like, even faster, like, really fast, and I'm not sure about this but they might have it to where you can't infinitely do the light speed dash, but if you keep on going through the clouds, then you can. Also, the training room has leaderboards with that, so I guess you can compare the time you finished it in, or like how many enemies you killed, or your score with someone else. And also, I'm not sure, but this might be like a round-based thing, kind of like Call of Duty Zombies or something like that, which if it is, that's pretty cool, and I might get kind of hooked on this because I really do like round-based, try-to-survive-as-long-as-you-can games. And that training room can be replayed after you finish the game, I think. Maybe before you finish it, but I don't know. This will probably only be like a three-hour long thing anyway. So I guess having this leaderboard is the closest that Sucker Punch really wants to get to multiplayer is pretty much what they're showing here, which I think that Second Son had pretty much the perfect setup for having a multiplayer infamous game. There are four different powers, which could be like four different classes. There's good and evil karma, which could be like two different teams. And there's karma streaks, which could be like kill streak things that you build up. So that just sounds perfect to multiplayer for me, but they still didn't do it. So I don't really think we are going to see an infamous multiplayer anytime soon. And I know that Sucker Punch said that their reason for not having a multiplayer was so that they could focus more time on the single player, but honestly, with my opinion about Second Son, was the single player really all that good? No, not really. And lastly, for more new stuff, if you have Second Son, you can play as Delson in the training room, and I would assume that means that you get all four of his powers, because then what would be the point if you can like only use smoke? It's just something kind of extra. But yeah, that's kind of cool. So just to wrap this up, I want to say that my expectations as well as my excitement for Infamous First Light are very low. Just after seeing what Sucker Punch did with Second Son, I was not impressed. I was really disappointed. If you are new to watching my videos, then you can watch my review of Infamous Second Son, which I will have a link in the description to. So yeah, this is my breakdown of the second Infamous First Light trailer. Probably the last one, unless they have a launch trailer, which they might. But really, since this game will probably only be like three hours long or something, I don't really think they should show too much in trailers. So yeah, thank you for watching. I will do a Let's Play of this DLC slash game because it is a standalone DLC, so it's kind of like its own game once it comes out. Maybe not the day it comes out, but I will try to do that soon afterwards. So thank you guys for watching. Again, I think I said that twice now, and have a great day.